Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Ubuntu 24.10 on VirtualBox. First go to Ubuntu official website that is ubuntu.com. Click on get Ubuntu. See here we have the mainly two versions, desktop and server. Based on requirement select the desktop or server. Click on desktop. Click on download Ubuntu desktop. See here we have the Ubuntu 24.04.1 LTS and if you scroll down see here we have the Ubuntu 24.10 and also see here the latest version of Ubuntu operating system for desktops, desktop PCs and laptops Ubuntu 24.10 comes with 9 months of security and maintenance updates until July 2025. Click on download and also see here its size is 5.3 gigabytes. And system requirements are 2 gigahertz dual core processor or better, 4 GB system memory, 25 GB of hard drive space and internet access is helpful. Click on download. No need to pay anything. Just click on download. 24 dollars. See, your download should start automatically. If it doesn't, you have to click on download now. See here, we already started. Go to downloads. See here, its size is 5.3 gigabytes. I am cancelling this one because I have already downloaded. See, I have already downloaded Ubuntu 24.1.0. Okay. Now open Oracle VM Virtual Box. If you want to install Oracle VM Virtual Box on your machine, then go through the link provided in the video description and install it. See here, I have already installed Oracle VM Virtual Box. Click on it. Select New or Machine and Select New. Both are same. Or simply Press Ctrl N from your keyboard. All three options are same. So click on New. See at present I don't have any virtual machines. Now provide the name for the, this virtual machine. UB 2410 VM. Then select the path or folder where you have the NO space. And create folder for this virtual machine. I am copying this VM name. I am going to create the same folder for this VM. Click on drop down folders, select the other, then select the path where you have the NS space. New folder, then give the name, then, then select the folder, then select the downloaded ISO image. Click on drop down, select other, then select the downloaded ISO file, then click on open. See, by default it has selected Ubuntu 64 bit. Also select the checkbox that is skip unattended installation. If you don't select this one, it automatically installs. So I want to install it manually. So click on next. Here provide the memory. Base memory I am giving 4 gigabytes. It's the base run your availability. Number of processes I am giving 2. Then click on next. Virtual hard disk. I am giving 50 gigabytes. All these are based on the availability and requirement. Okay. So click on next. See this is the summary of the virtual machine. Okay, if you want to edit, you have to click on back. Or once you click on finish, then also you will be able to edit the virtual machine settings. Click on finish. Still, if you want to edit the settings of this virtual machine, see these are the settings. Click on select the virtual machine this from this menu. Then select the settings. Or right click and select settings. Or select it and click on machine and settings all three options are same or simply press ctrl s from your keyboard all three options are same okay so i am okay with these settings then click on start or right click and select this start then normal start okay so click on start see use up and down arrows from your keyboard and select the first option that is try or install ubuntu hit enter See, it is installing 24.10. See, this is just preview mode. You want to install it, you have to click on this install Ubuntu 24.10. Or click on this one, both are same. So, click on install Ubuntu 24.10. Select language and click on next. Next. 
select keyboard layout i am going with english us and click on next connect to internet it is our option you want to connect you have to select the option click on next see here we have the two options try ubuntu or install ubuntu so select install ubuntu and click on next here we have two types of installation methods interactive installation and automated select the interactive installation and click on next and application selection default selection or extended i'm going with the default selection if you want to select the extended you will get the more options to select okay so i'm going with extended selection then click on next if you want to install third party software graphics you have to select if you want all so click on next select the first option that is you see this is fresh installation so select erase disk and install ubuntu click on next now we have to create the account so i am giving user account full name as arto schools and this will be the computer name or host name we can change this later also then provide the password if you want to use active directory how to select this one i don't want next select your time zone you can select location or you can select the from this globe i am from india so i have set by default it has selected my location click on next see this is the summary or choices that we have select still if you want to modify you have to click on click on back and you have to edit the settings I'm okay with all these settings, so click on install. See, installation has been started. This may take time. I'm pausing this video until installation completes. Whenever manual inputs required, I will resume and I will show you the options. See, installation has been completed successfully. Click on restart now. See, now it is asking us to remove the installation medium and then press enter. So, click on right control from, keyboard, from your keyboard to release the cursor. Then go to virtual box. See, it is already removed. Optical drive is empty means it is already removed the installation media. So, select it and hit enter. Now click on username and provide the password. Click on next. Then select no, I don't share data, it is up to you. Then click on next. All done, so click on finish. Now open terminal. Click on terminal. Type more slash etc. OS hyphen release to verify the version. See, we have installed Ubuntu 24.10. Okay. And this is the code name for the 24.04. Okay. So, in this video, we have seen how to download and install Ubuntu 24.10 on VirtualBox in Windows environment. For more Linux videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.